Hi, my name is Vitas. Welcome to the Huffington Post Thrive Series. One of the most notorious areas for holding on to stress and tension in our bodies are our hips. This is where your lower half connects to your upper half. Some of the biggest muscles in your body are here. So it's really important that we maintain a range of motion and a certain level of mobility. Otherwise, you're going to feel locked up, not only in your legs, but in your lower back as well. So we're going to do a few seated stretches there that are going to help open up our hips. All right? Let's begin. Put your hands behind you and plant your feet on the floor about hips distance apart. Yeah, lift your chest up. Take a nice deep breath into your chest. Should feel good. While we stretch, you want to make sure you're breathing even and deep. Good. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Notice how I lift my butt up to do that. It's fine. Just set your butt back down. Good. Walk your hands in a little bit. Lift your chest up. And just breathe. Really try to keep your right foot flexed here. Now, some of you guys might be tighter. If you're tighter, you're going to have to have a little bit of a longer stance. That's okay. If you don't feel a lot of a stretch, then you want to shorten your stance. So see if you can scoot your butt in a little bit. Maybe walk your hands in a little bit and close the gap between your chest and your right calf. Good. Lift up through your rib cage. Keep pulling your toes back towards your knee on your right foot. Nice. And let that go. Switch sides. Plant your right foot down. Cross your left ankle above your right knee. Flex your left foot a lot. And again, just kind of depending on the tightness in your body today, find a stance that works for you. Maybe go longer or maybe shorten up. Whatever you do, though, try not to hunch forward. You want to maintain a lift, spreading of the collarbones. Keep your left foot flexed. Sit up nice and tall. Take one more deep breath or two here. Good. And let that go. So now we're going to sit cross-legged. When we sit cross-legged in Sukhasana, you want to try to cross right in the middle of your shins. Now, if you notice that your knees stick way up when you sit, then you probably should sit on something. So Ryan's going to sit on a blanket here. And even just like an inch or two of elevation will be helpful to make sure to keep those hips up and to drop those knees a little bit lower. All right, you can sit on a blanket, a block, whatever you need to. But try to cross right in the middle of your shins so that your feet are underneath your knees. And put your fingertips in front of your shins. Lift up through your rib cage. And with your feet flexed, slowly crawl yourself forward. Good. If you can put your forearms down, let them come down. Soften your neck a little bit. And just take a few deep breaths into what it is you're feeling. Good, nice job. Crawl yourself back up. And switch. Cross the other leg on top. Good. So I see a lot of people oftentimes when they cross their legs, their knees are way out. For this stretch, try to have your feet underneath your knees. Again, cross right in the middle of your shins. Put your fingers in front of your shins. Lift up out of your lumbar spine and crawl yourself forward. Good. Even if you can just lean forward an inch, I'd rather you not round too much. So notice how both Ryan and I have a lot of range of motion. We've been doing yoga for years. If you're newer to the practice, if you're newer to any sort of stretching practice, maybe just lean forward an inch. That's fine. Do what you can do in your body today. And then just stay there. Take a nice deep breath or two. Try to keep your feet flexed no matter where you are. Get still so you stop fidgeting, even if it's just for a moment. The stillness in the practice is very powerful. Good. And then crawl yourself up. Sit up nice and tall. Just notice how you feel. I don't know about you, but my hips feel pretty good after that. Thank you so much for joining us for your daily dose of yoga. Make sure to check us out next week or on udaya.com. Thanks.